This is in addition to the video I made before about fitting the saddle on this uh, Bourgeois OM. So the, sa the saddle was sanded, uh, fitted. I got it to about five and a half sixty fourths, four sixty fourths on the high E string. Had it together with the old strings on there, tested back and forth, back and forth, sanded the high E area down just a little bit. So hopefully I get that just under four sixty fourths because it was just a touch high being very very particular on that but it was just a touch high so a little bit lower would be ideal but I wanted to show you something on the technique that I do when I string up a guitar it was something that I learned and it's been very helpful so I am put the strings in and what I do is I'll show you on the next string that I put in but I basically bend it stick it in pull it under these are um, all the way through, so they're not slotted saddles. They're full saddles. They're unslotted. Stick the string under so nothing pulls. So I don't put the string in, push the, push the pin down, and then pull the string back up. I fit the string into the slot, put the pin in so there's no pull or no play. The other thing I do is pull this one tuner past, so whatever that is, an inch, inch and a half, one tuner past. I have a little cutout that I made out of cardboard so I don't scratch the headstock at all. It's just cardboard, cut some slits in it, slide it in there. And then I take this, slide it in just a touch so it's sticking out the other side a little bit. Bend and crimp, hold it with some pressure. Then I go over, then under, and you're gonna go under about two times, one and a half, two times. Until the string tightens and I get it just so it tightens a little bit but the thing I want to show you is so on the D string what I do is let's make sure you can see this so what I do is you see on these strings when there's a winding there's a part that is still sharp that sticks up and I used to just stick it in the hole put the pin in go what I learned I think what I learned from uh, the Martin Factory is what I think. I got this idea from the Martin Factory. I don't know exactly where I got this from. But I take it and I bend it right here. Just a little bit. Just so it's pre-bent. And it's bent right where the winding is on top. So it's not going to dig in and grind into your bridge at all. So the winding's on top. Then I take a pin. I put this in. I fit it, since it's already pre-bent, it's easy. It's already in there, I'm pulling on this. The, the ball of the string is catching. And then I slide the pin in, and I have no issues. Because there used to be times where you would put the string in, it would go down a little too far, you put the pin in, then you have to pull the string up, and it would catch on, on the bridge, and sometimes the ebony ones would scuff. I've even cracked some, or I've seen some cracked, I haven't cracked any. But I've seen some crack from people from people pulling on it when it wasn't secure. So you do that, pull this. When you get to the D and G string, I mark it and I pull this back. One string length. Again, better than safe and sorry. Cut it maybe a quarter inch longer than a quarter inch shorter. But it really doesn't matter. And here, turn it. Tighten it. Over once, under about two times before it tightens usually. That was about three times because I cut it just a little bit longer to show for example, I guess. And I also don't pull the strings really tight. Uh, I don't want I don't want tension on this side without tension on this side. So I just get them on there, get them set. So I'll show you this one more time, and then that'll be it for this video. It's pretty clear what I'm doing here, just putting strings on a guitar. But again, you see, or hopefully you can see, you have the winding. Winding part is up. I take it, I hold it, put a little pre-bend in there. 
slide it in the hole, snug, put the pin in. There you go.